Hello, bonjour, and welcome to the University of Ottawa Mars Rover Team 2023 System Acceptance Review. Our team is composed of over 25 passionate students from a wide range of disciplines from science and engineering to business. Over the past year, our team saw rapid expansion, allowing us to improve various systems from our previous rover. This year, our approach was to introduce new printed circuit boards for our subsystems. The addition of custom PCBs minimized failure modes and provided additional redundancy over last year's design, all while meeting the power delivery needs of our rover's modules. Our communication setup leverages two 900 MHz radios to easily exceed competition requirements with over two kilometers of range. Our comm system has been stress tested through line of sight obstructions and adverse weather conditions. This year's base station setup features a dashboard which provides a central hub that displays four cameras in parallel, sensor data, a map, and ROS node and topic data. The dashboard has a React front end that connects to ROS through ROSBridge server's WebSocket. Our distributed architecture separates nodes between the onboard computer and the base station. Our reference nodes that take operator input are run on the base station. Controller nodes on the Pi process the reference signals and send commands to the Arduinos, which drive motors to actuate the rover. To complete dexterous tasks, our robotic arm uses two rear-mounted linear actuators to optimize the range of motion. A differential forms our wrist joint, providing precise pitch and roll movement for our multi-purpose end effector. The end effector's carbon fiber infused nylon body, overdrive protection, high friction grippers, and non-backdrivable mechanism provide strong stable grip strength for use during URC tasks. By fully closing the end effector, buttons and keys can be pressed with high precision. Our 5 degree of freedom arm uses three onboard cameras to provide visual feedback during geological identification of specimens and open loop operation. We are continuing development of a closed loop inverse kinematic control system and are on track to implement it by competition. This year's life detection module analyzes soil samples for extinct and extant life using various chemical assays. Using a vacuum system, soil samples are collected and deposited into nine test tubes in the rotary array where they're analyzed by our sensor suite for evidence of life. The presence of soil organic matter is detected by a reaction with sodium hypochlorite that precipitates a foamy substance. Microbial activity is quantified by dissolving soil in dimethyl sulfoxide and analyzing temperature variance from the resulting redox reaction. Finally, our onboard microscopic camera allows us to examine regolith for fossilized organisms. The raw data collected by the temperature sensors and cameras is then sent to the base station for interpretation by our science team. Our current plans for the rover's autonomous systems involve feeding localization info from the Kalman filter into our tab map, along with data from our RealSense stereo camera. We will then use this information, along with our system that reads RUCO tags, to determine our path and drive it autonomously. We get our location from our GPS and additional positioning inputs, which are then fed into a Kalman filter along with IMU data to help clean up the signal for autonomous and extreme retrieval missions. The robotic arm and life detection models are supported by an 8020 extruded aluminum frame that distributes the load throughout the chassis and into the suspension. Our suspension uses a four-wheel rocker bogey system, which mainly consists of carbon fiber tubes and connectors to optimize the strength to weight ratio. This new four-wheel design lowers the center of gravity and reduces the mechanical complexity overall. To maximize stability, the swim arm is mounted far from the pivot point, which reduces oscillation in the chassis while ensuring four points of contact when traversing. 16-inch pneumatic balloon wheels were selected for their ability to support heavy loads across loose and challenging terrain. The rims were adapted to accommodate the motor assembly within the width of the wheel. Finally, the motors actuate custom CNC rim faces, which in turn drive the wheel. This year, we got a head start on our design, providing ample opportunity for testing and analysis of our rover. Each component on this year's rover has undergone thorough testing to ensure optimal competition performance. Our team constructed a replica lander to simulate URC equipment servicing tasks with the dual purpose of validating our systems and ensuring operator proficiency. The Euro Rover team is absolutely confident in our ability to meet and exceed all URC competition requirements. We hope to see you all in Utah. Thank you for your consideration.